Well, in fact, Burbick has turned up okay and giving a little bit of aggravation. There's the famous face of all with the young children listening to referee Zach Clayton's final warm-up there. There it is. It's a chilly night, actually, in the stadium. So it's scheduled for 10 rounds. And you can see now that Ali has really the contours of a channel swimmer. 16 stone and 12 pounds. He was only 15 7 for that really humiliating fight 40 months ago against Larry Holmes. And really, let's hope he could never be that bad again. Burbick, 15 5. And a strong man, good chin. Since he fought Holmes Burbick, he's won two fights, including the vacant Commonwealth Championship, if that really means anything nowadays. Well, that's the old alley in a way there, the one-two punch is going, but not with that same speed that we knew of the great man in the days when he was Cassius Clay, 21 years of pro, 26 championship fights. Not too bad opening round, really, for Ali. But it shows that Burbick also means business. And anybody a little bit cynical who maybe thought he came here just to go through the motions and be a good boy can think again. He's world number four by the World Boxing Council. And there it is, almost a tinker bell they have here. Angelo Dundee, the trainer, working again then with Ali. He didn't want to, but he said, well, at least I'm in there to protect the great man. He's such a fine human being. Round two. And the greatest now, only a few weeks away from his 40th birthday. We have to ask ourselves, come on, what's he really doing in the ring? And yet at the same time, you have to wish him all the luck in the world because he's been so great for the game. And at one time, he was the highest paid citizen in the entire USA. That's Ali of old. And he did that when he was a young fighter. He always pulled the opposition on and Zach Clayton rebuking him for it. And a charge to the crowd now. This this man feeds off the public. He really craves for excitement, really. He tries to kind of insulate himself from all dangers in the ring. Well, there's the referee there, could, risking getting hit, it would seem. That's the pattern of the fight, surely, now. Burbick with the forward march the whole time trying to ignore Ali's punches and certainly has already ignored his reputation. Now there's a 
sign that the reflexes have gone a bit because he measured that punch Ali and still couldn't land with it he used the left hand almost as a telegraph pole to keep Burbick's head straight and nothing happened Ali trying to now Burbick with the right hand and almost does there Well, there's some improvement, surely, of the alley who really was humiliated by Larry Holmes. And in this fight, of course, the opposition's a lot different. So, coming up then to the end of the second. just about hear that bell all right corners out come on corners out four corners out come on get out of there Brock. get out of there get that cool out of there come on well the referee the toughest man in the stadium then yelling at the seconds to get out of the corners for round five and it's been a similar pattern now with Ali plodding away and Burbick piling up a lot of points, I think, just by throwing more punches and inevitably landing more. But every so often you just see the flash of the old Ali, the good punch, the left hook to the head. still relying mainly on the prodding left jab and that's about all it is you get the feeling that the young Ali would have skipped away now and started a shuffle or two but uh, the legs are certainly slowing aren't they? there's a bit of lead in those And really Burbick ignoring the spoiling tactics of Ali there to hang on on the ropes like that. Well, at the open range, Ali doesn't do so badly. Burbick, remember, 12 years younger than Ali and had only 23 fights, won 20 and drawn one. together a lot better in the fifth when the match was made I had great doubts that he could knock Burbick over this is a durable ch kid I tell you he's uh, came up from the amateurs boxing the Olympics takes a good shot good round here at the finish for Ali can't dismiss the office cares there Dundee really laying into Ali the same in Burbick's corner now it's warmed up to a much better fight than we thought it was going to be anyway so we're into round seven And if the weariness showed in Ali at the start, it's worsening a bit as he goes along, obviously. Burbick just punching out his night's work, getting on with it, and I suspect keeps stealing the rounds, really. There's not much in them, but I would have thought that Burbick was just in front. 
seen a touch of clowning at all from Ali he promised he'd come in business like but it's Burbick who's doing the business at this point just listen to that referee really does not stop does he Ali used to be able to pull his head away from these punches and slip them so well. Now he's getting caught. Oh no, he's calling out to Burbick, you haven't hurt me. That's the touch of the old Ali. He did that with George Foreman, laid on the ropes and said, come on, punch away. But really, that's a dangerous, although it may be an admirable try in any great fighter. And I suspect that Ali's not conning Burbick, he's really conning himself. We all seem to be willing Ali to do something, to throw the one punch that can get him off the hook. And at least let him go out a winner. Three times champion of the world and they're more or less these dreams of immortality are trying to win it the fourth time but really the days those are over aren't they with him so round eight Certainly Ali's corner people are under the impression that he's not losing this fight. He's pinched his share of points, there's no question about that. But all the nagging punches have been coming from Burbick, really. And this is a better Ali, but for how long? And the crowd rising to it. And the old familiar chants of Ali coming from a crowd who have never seen him in the flesh before. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm beginning to feel every punch that Ali's having to take in there. When you've seen this man at his greatest, nothing less is acceptable. Well, I tell you, they've got a good chance of getting the grievous bodily harm of the ears if this referee keeps shouting at them like that. Totally uncompromising Burbick gets on with the job and seems as though he's going to get the job done, doesn't it? Well, the prize money for Ali is chicken feed by comparison with the old days, but he's still getting the equivalent of 500,000 pounds for this. But you're wondering now whether he'd sooner swap it for an easier way of life. So the countdown then for the end of this round, if they can hear this bell with the in of the crowd and just about.
really working feverishly there in Ali's corner. Undini Brown, the man who invented the float like a butterfly, sting like a bee one. But I'm afraid he's not doing that anymore. Round nine then, scheduled for ten rounds. And really, it looks as though he's dragging a bit of athletic senility around with him now, Ali, at 16-12. Makes an attempt every so often to get up on his toes. Look, as he did there, I wondered if we were going to be treated to the old shuffle and go out like a real old trooper. No question about it. Ali really transcends sport, doesn't he? Probably the best known face at Earth at one time. Yes, it's an improvement on the Ali fight against Holmes. That has to be, anything must be better than that, but still a long way from the great one. Just prodding that left hand out, occasionally turning it into a hook, but Burbick just ignoring him. himself an easy one for this comeback fight an uncompromising man he could have done with a more of a stand-up fighter that he could catch easier <laughs> Ali's feet almost rooted to the canvas now that's really where age and experience and shipping a bit of punishment catches up with these heavyweights well Burbick really is some nuisance there's no doubt about that and Ali saying, where are you going at the end of the ninth round? <laughs> so there it is. Final round. And who knows? Three minutes away from the end of one of the greatest sporting characters we've ever known, Muhammad Ali. Because I would have thought, win, lose or draw this one, he's really got to quit. There were many of us, and certainly I told him that I wish he'd have done it before. Well, he's trying to grandstand it to the finish. Because they come no braver than Ali, you can bet on that. trying everything he's got in the last round but surely he could never come up with a one-punch finish now looks as though Burbick does have a bit of granite in that chin doesn't it he really hasn't wobbled at all but at least Ali is going out to applause and that he loves seconds to go but 
but really just punching from memory now, Ali. Nothing left at all. And it's just as well that Burbick is not the heaviest of punches, but they all hurt when you're over 15 stone and throwing them. And Ali, at least having the professional pride of not being knocked off his feet, but is he in trouble? No, the bell now would obviously come to his rescue if he went down, but that's unlikely. And that's it, it's all over. Burbick throws his hands in the air. Obviously knows he's won, but they're disagreeing in Ali's corner. And knowing Ali as I do, I think he knows that he's lost this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Judge Alonzo Butler votes it 97-94. Judge Clyde Gray votes 99-94. Judge Jay Edson votes 99-94. Unanimous decision for Trevor Burbank. Well, that's it, the Commonwealth champion. Well, as I thought, and goodbye, old friend, it is to Ali.